What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title, I'm going to be following Olivia Jade's What I Eat in a Day for the day. So I'm going to be eating every single thing that she ate and I'm kind of not excited. When I was watching her video, I noticed that she did not eat a lot of food. Like all the food that she ate in this one day. If I were to eat all that, I know I would be still hungry after. And maybe I do eat too much and I think this is like not a lot of food. Maybe this is like the right portion to eat. But I don't know, we'll see. This is definitely going to be a challenge for me. Something to know about me, I am gluten and dairy free and she does eat cheese in this video so instead of eating cheese I'm substituting it for vegan non-dairy cheese but besides that I'm basically eating all the foods that she ate in her what I eat in a day also I'm not really sure who started this video but I just thought this was really fun and I saw that this is a trend going around YouTube and I really wanted to try it myself and also if you guys want to see more videos like this make sure you're subscribed and if you want me to do another youtuber let me know down below don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and let's just get started the first meal we will be eating is breakfast so for breakfast I usually make myself an omelet this is like religious at this point I usually have this every single morning so in my omelet I'm very picky so I just do two eggs some cheese and turkey okay so I have my two eggs and then I have my turkey breast wait does she have turkey or was it chicken I forget now so I typically like to use ham I've never used turkey before but this is what she used in her omelet so like I have to use it Okay, so here is my omelet. I'm so starving. I cannot wait to eat this. This looks actually really good. I usually eat eggs in the morning, almost every morning. So yeah, I'm just gonna eat this. I'm gonna have an apple with almond butter. I'll show you guys. This is my favorite almond butter. So I'm gonna have some of this with an apple. Okay, the next thing she eats is a little snack. So she ate an apple. So I have a gala, gala, I don't know how you say it. And then she also had some almond butter. So this is the one I'm gonna be using. This is from Trader Joe's, it's raw almond butter. So this is gonna be my snack for today. So here we go. I haven't had apples and almond butter in a long time. I used to eat it a lot, but I haven't had it in a while, so. So this is lunch. I just added half an avocado, but it's chicken lettuce, avocado, cheese. Sometimes I do bacon, sometimes I don't. As you guys can tell, if you haven't already, I'm a very picky eater. I also don't use dressing. This literally is not for health choices. I hate the taste of it. Now moving on to lunch, from what I can see in the video, it looks like she postmated something or ordered something from a restaurant. And as easy as it is to order just a salad from a restaurant, I will not be doing that because I don't want to spend money. So in her salad, she says that she added a half an avocado and then some grilled chicken. And I think that's all. And she says that she doesn't use dressing, which I always use dressing for my salads. But since I am copying her, sadly, I cannot have dressing on my salad. It's not the end of the world, but that just sounds like really gross to me. I'm so Hungry. This is the chicken I will be grilling. I'm gonna actually be cooking two of these because I'm eating one for dinner also. You'll see what she eats for dinner. And then I'm gonna be using cheese because she said that she added cheese in it. Then I just have this chopped romaine lettuce. If you're curious how I'm cooking my chicken. So most of the time I use coconut oil because it can cook at high temperatures. And then here's my chicken. I seasoned it with garlic, paprika, pepper, salt. I've been dairy free for like three years now, four years. And if you're looking to go dairy free, I highly recommend it. It has made me feel so much better. And this cheese is so good. I highly recommend it if you're looking to go dairy free. And another good thing about this cheese is it, well, it tastes good and it also melts really easily. Since Olivia didn't add salad dressing, I'm probably gonna add kind of a lot of cheese to this because like I need flavor. <laughs> this actually looks really good. It looks like um, a Caesar salad. Eh, it's okay. That was probably one of the most boring salads I've ever eaten. But surprisingly, that kind of filled me up. I think it's only because of chicken, obviously. Honestly, what's keeping me going with this challenge is the dessert that I'm making. <laughs> because otherwise, I would be miserable right now. Food. I got plain chicken. I'm really boring. And so, to spice it up, I'm going to put some tomato sauce and cheese. So it's like my own version, my healthier version of chicken parm. Um, I made this look really not cute and just really unappetizing, but that is okay. Okay, so as you can see, Olivia made her 
healthy version of chicken parm, which I don't even think I've ever had that before. It looks like the only meat she ever eats is chicken. I really don't feel like eating more chicken. So I'm just gonna eat the other chicken breast that I made. We're gonna add this tomato basil sauce to it and then the vegan cheese. To be honest, this does not sound very appetizing to me. I love that my dog just comes to the kitchen whenever she hears someone in here. She just assumes that she's just gonna get food. No, you're not gonna get food. <laughs> what is this? Well, there's my version of her chicken parm. Okay, I'm gonna put it in the microwave and we're gonna heat it up and I'm gonna eat dinner. It just smells like cheese. That's a really weird combination. It feels like I'm missing something. Like where's her side dishes? It seems like I need pasta or something, but just to eat straight up chicken with marinara sauce and cheese? No. I really don't understand how she's just eating this for dinner. I need a carb. I feel like I need carbs. Good thing dessert is after this because I'm over this. So I got a size two vanilla with strawberries for those of you wondering. It's amazing. I also get coconut flakes on top. And yeah, it's really yummy. It's supposed to be like a healthy kind of ice cream. I don't really know how healthy it is, but. All right, so now moving on to dessert. I have been craving this all day. As you guys can see, Olivia went to press juice, which I don't have that where I live. So I'm gonna make my own version of the pressed juice she got. Also, I just realized that hers is a vanilla flavor and this whole time I thought I was gonna have a chocolate flavored. I really hate to do it, but I think I'm gonna have to just change it up a bit and stick with the chocolate flavored because otherwise I don't know how I would make this taste good. Let's head to the kitchen. Basically what I'm making is banana ice cream. We got the frozen bananas. Then I'm using almond milk to have some liquid in there. We have cacao powder, vanilla extract, and to top it off, we have some strawberries, which she used strawberries. So I wanna say I put about probably three medium-sized bananas in here. So I'm gonna add one fourth of the almond milk. I really hope that's not too much. I'm kinda scared. And then I'm gonna do like half a teaspoon of the vanilla extract. And then we're gonna do two big tablespoons of the cacao powder. Now for the taste test. That tastes so good. Okay, so here is my dessert. This looks so good. I'm so excited to eat this. Seriously, it's so easy to go dairy free. Like you don't need cow milk and it doesn't make you feel gross after eating it. So I'm gonna enjoy this. And that is me following Olivia Jade's What I Eat In A Day. It was so much fun filming this video. So if you guys want me to follow another YouTuber's What I Eat In A Day, let me know down below who you would want that to be. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you at my next video. Bye.